Thank you so much for coming out. We would have been here an hour ago, forgot about the time change. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, well, everything I've got from you has worked perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, and those three batteries I got now? Oh. It's the holy grail, really. Yeah. You know, you don't have to worry about You set it, forget it, and yep. it just does its thing. And everything I got in there is rich solar. White one, all right. Thank you. Thank you for coming to Solar Bills today. Yeah, great. Howdy, howdy. Uh, like a hat? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You can see our products. Yeah, we're gonna hang around and check it out. Oh, good. So, great. Cool. And now with us, we have Rich Solar. This is Billy. We call him. He is my main man my main connection at rich solar okay he's been with rich solar for years already he knows the ins and outs of him rich solar is one of the top five panels in the industry at the moment okay we have them here in the shop this is our best selling panel that we have i have this in my rig just to let you guys know okay that's how good they are okay without further to do here's billy okay thank you Thank you, Gus, for having us. It's good to be back again. This is our, my second year coming to uh, Gus and Rose's Solar Bill. They stand behind all of their installations and we stand behind them. If anything goes wrong, I'll be just giving a small talk about our solar panels. If you like, I have brochures up here of our products. Free hat, come, come grab one. And um, I also brought uh, a backup support. Um, I brought in off-grid RVs, uh, very own Jean. He's a local installer down in Southern California. That's where, we're, that's where we're based out of. So we all came out here um, to support Solar Bill. All right, does anybody know how to put panels in series or parallel? Is any, any of the bad a question for you guys? Yeah, okay. So we have two panels here. When you connect them in series, you're gonna be increasing your, uh, your voltage. And uh, if you put them in parallel, you're going to be increasing their amperage. So it depends on your solar controller. Some solar controllers will have a maximum amperage and voltage. So let's say you want to put a bunch of panels on your controller. This is a 40 amp MPPT that Rich Solar sells. Solar Build, they install these here as well. This can only take about 100 volts. So if you had four, let's imagine these are 200 watt panels. Um, the max VOC is 25 volts. If you were to put four panels, in series on paper it looks like 96 volts but as the sun waves come in um, to the planet there'll be peaks and you can hit 26 27 28 volts sometimes and that will overvolt your controller and you can really hurt your controller so people will put these in series parallel let's say these are four panels you would put two in series and then two in parallel and then that will have you just double your volts and double your amps. So you'll be at 50 volts and then about 20 amps. And that'll enable you to have your full solar, full, you'll, you'll be able to have 800 watts of solar without overvolting your controller. And um, I can show you what that looks like real quick. So these are called uh, parallel adapters. This is what makes everything parallel. So I'll grab the negative. So you take the negative from one panel, panel one. You connect it to the negative parallel adapter. You take the negative of panel two, you connect it to that one. Then you take the positive from panel one and the positive of panel two. And now they're both in parallel. The good thing about parallel adapting also is it'll keep your um, your volts low but if you're in the sun so if they're both the sun's right here shining down on us if i stand in front of the sun and block this panel this other panel is going to fully produce uh, as if there's no issues so if, that's another reason why you want to do a, a parallel adaption if you have them in series 
which is just connecting the two panels together into your controller. If I stand in front of the same panel, the whole system is shut down. It, when you go into series, your panels imagine that they're one big panel now. So panels are very, uh, even this little bit of shade on a panel greatly reduces its efficiency. So you have your ducts on top, uh, air conditioners, vents, and uh, sometimes I'll see it, uh, air conditioner in the middle of, of your rig and a panel on each side in series. Well, you're only going to get good sun if the sun's right above, you know, equinox during summer. Um, if it's over here during the day, this one's shaded. So if you had this in parallel, half the day you're fine, the other half you're still fine. So yeah. This one specifically is a 100 watt panel. Yeah, it's a little guy. Uh, but they're mighty. They work really well. I don't know if you've heard of Will Prouse. They weren't, Rich Solar is really known for being a high quality panel for low price. For our product, our price, and our customer support, we think we're, we're, we're leading the industry now. And we're going to be expanding. I don't know if you got one of our brochures, but we're expanding our solar panels as well. If you've heard of Explorist Life, they're a, a van, van life company uh, on YouTube. Has anyone heard of Nate Yarborough and those guys? They've customized some panels. Um, they have an exclusive, but um, we're breaking into the market of having different size panels, a 35 watt, 100 watt slim. Um, and that way with those ducts and air conditioners, you can fully fit your panels onto a roof, so your efficiency of space is taken, taken care of. We also are coming out with uh, cabin kits. It seems like the industry, we feel, is going to larger than 12 volt battery systems. So, uh, Jean has been installing a lot of 48 volt battery systems. And it sounds scary at first, but um, he's also figured out a way to, you can step down to a 12 volt battery so you can still plug your system into a 12 volt battery system with a 48 volt backup. And that's always supplying your lithium or lead acid or whatever, whatever kind of battery you like. And um, that way you can boondock for a greater long uh, amount of time without ever having to connect to shore power or a generator. So your neighbors will be, be happy with you. But, um, but yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it. We, um, we're looking forward to growing uh, we've doubled last year. We've been in the, we've celebrating our 17th year in the, in the solar industry. Uh, thanks to people like Will Prouse, um, Solar Bill, people believe in us. Uh, we've just been expanding and growing. And so we're trying to make better and better products that are easier to use and will help you live a rich solar life, really. And, um, and yeah, did it, do you have any questions while I'm still in that mode? Uh, yeah. Um, the one that catches me the, the most is when you have a 24 volt system, your MPPT controllers, uh, Victron or anyone else, um, it allows you to have more solar. So you can really step up your solar panels to, uh, to fill up your batteries faster. Less, less loss in the cable. Correct. Yeah, higher voltage, less loss. 24 volt is like the next step where most people are gonna start making uh, new 24 volt rigs and stuff. And uh, you'll have less cabling. So you won't have as many runs. Oh, solar bill. The 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller can take, depending on a 12 or 24 volt system. The 12 volt is 600 watts. And if you were to bump it to a, your battery system to a 24 volt system, it'd be 1200. So you could double your, double your thing. And then we have 20 amp, 40 amp and 60 amp controllers. So you can really maximize. If you have room, we can, you can utilize your whole space on top of your rig. So if, let's say you, you buy a rig that already has pre-wired solar and you just want to add a couple more. Typically they use like 100 watt panels or whatever. Um, so you can use, you can mix match panels. Um, 
The issue is, if you want to look on the back of a panel, they all have their own specific VOCs and IMPs. So that's the maximum voltage, maximum amperage. You want to find a panel that is as similar as possible to the one that you're going to try to match. But if you match up a 200 watt panel with like a 100 watt panel, um, you basically make, if you, do it the, if you do it the wrong way, you'll end up with 200 watts instead of 300 watts. So you don't want to put a 200 watt with a 50 watt or something like that. Yeah. Does everyone have solar on their rigs already? Or are going to be? You do now? Oh, that's beautiful. To be in camp or wherever you're at, and you don't have to hit the generator, you know, in the morning you just want to pour a cup of coffee. It feels like you're, you know, you're in shore power. You bring the grid with you, you know, you are your own grid. So, is everyone living here in Quartzsite right now? Yeah? Yeah. When does the season start here officially? November? Were you here in November? Who was? No? Who? Yeah. We missed that Michigan. Uh... Yeah. So you were here over since last year? Oh, that's cool. You missed that uh, blizzard. No. We're down. Yeah, you didn't miss. <laughs> yeah, this is um, uh, Ricky Bolton and his wife. What was it? Joanne and um, I've talked with them since last March and um, he just installed another battery in his system and uh, he's just telling us that it's running smoothly now and um, you didn't have you installed it yourself didn't you yeah never know anything about it either every time I got logged I got the jam I told you yeah he was saying um, he didn't know how to install solar before this and uh, anytime we had an issue, he would call me up and we would we'd help troubleshoot it for him. Anyone here that you call, we'll, we'll be able to help you out. Uh, we, don't, we, we know people, that de we, we depend on this, you know. Um, yeah, he didn't know what age, between AGM and lithium was before. Yeah. Yeah, they, um, yeah, depending on your battery system, how much solar you have, it can really make uh, make a difference. And just peace of mind when you're out out on the road, or just sitting at home. You just want to watch watch politics on TV or Miss America pageants or whatever. You know, when your system shuts down, it's the worst. Like you're fine and you're fine walking around the world until you stub your toe. You know, you don't think there's an issue. But with with our solar and with our support, we want you to just click it and forget it and just go on with your life and and uh, enjoy it. So that's why we come back to Solar Bill today and and we'll be we'll be here next year as well and uh, I will we'll be earlier. I <laughs> forgot about the time change but um, no we're really appreciative to be a partnered up with Solar Bill because they really do stand behind what, every install that they do. So we're, we're really happy to be here. Thank you for coming today and uh, if you like we even have some t-shirts today. So we'd like to send you home with a with a shirt and please get a pamphlet and ask me anything about our products. Our website is richsolar.com and I don't know if I said this before but we're based in Southern California and we ship within 24 hours or 24 hours of business business days. So if you order on a Friday, we ship out on Monday. Thank you so much today and uh, please come up, get a free t-shirt, come say hi to me um, if you want to ask any questions. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys. Go. Boom. Thank you. Very Thank, much. You. Thank you. Here you go. Billy, thank you. Oh, nice seeing it's you so again. good to meet you. I'm a hugger. Yeah. I'm a hugger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah, the t-shirt seems to have gotten smaller. Yeah. That's my story. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. That's it. <laughs> So, yeah, you're so welcome. <laughs>